Hello and welcome back! I'm Arumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our campaign as Korea in E4. Sweet Chosan Turtles, Chat and I have gone through and done the painstaking process. Not even that hard, actually. But we've marked provinces as vital interest in order to help us remember what we want to burn in this upcoming war. The criteria for choosing the provinces was based on a couple things. Number one, is the state currently prosperous? Number two, is the entire state protected by zone of control or not? And if both criteria are possible, then we find the province in the state, for example, in this state. That's the three provinces in the state. It is prosperous, but there's no zone of control in these two. So then we looked at it and said, okay, we want to burn at least one of these two. And so these are the park, these are the targets. Operation. Devastate the crap out of Ming shall commence. We're gonna burn everything. And I can't wait. Uh, since there is a target down here, I do think I want to put this army not up here, but down in Yi, Yui, Yui, something like that. War taxes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, war taxes. Uh, Haizu isn't also suitable, is it? Hi, is that how you spell it? H A I base Z H O is not showing up. I is it one word? That one. When there are multiple provinces in a single state. The primary goal is to prevent Ming from being able to get prosperity again. Only one province in an entire state needs to be devastated to prevent all of it from getting prosperity. So, if we burn down one, we're good. So we target Haizu for the whole state to be affected. And again, the math on it is, since there's no adjacent zone of control, we're going to loot it to max, which takes, you know, however much time. One thing that's kind of convenient about our stacks Someone in chat was like, I hate this. It's so... The OCD is it's killing me. But look! It was so perfect! They, they loot exactly 2.5 per month, which means two of these stacks together reach ma maximum monthly loot capacity, which is five. You can't take more than five loot from a province in any given monthly tick. So two together, go there, and, uh, you know, in this case, like, if we want to loot Haizu, it's going to take 16 months because of 16 base development. There's 16 loot. That'll, that'll cause 10% devastation. We will also scorch it, which will cause five more. And then every month that the war goes on, it'll also go up. But the math on it is 15 devastation divided by 0.08 monthly control recovery. It will take them 187.5 months to clear the devastation if they don't do development or something. Which means it'll take 15.6 years, which means that Ming's never going to be prosperous. Never, ever, ever again. Ever. We're going to burn it to the ground. All right. Sound good? Sounds good. So army needs to go down to here. I'm going to leave 21 transports with this province because it's a safe location for them. Ming physically can't hurt them if they're in a scootage subjects seaport. <laughs> you literally can't do anything. You can't force them out. And it'll be a safe retreat point for us as well. Scootage is so broken. I love it. Hey Ming, guess what? We're here to take your mandate. Locate target. Get it! I'm not a robot. I don't know why I talk like that. I'm weird. Ignore me. Kill. Must burn. Also, I guess we should probably make sure to mark... Uh, yeah, Nanning's already ma marked because it's a fort. We should make sure to beeline fort toward that as well. But mostly, I want to get this prosperity gone. Is the next stack ready? It is. Okay. Uh, this stack... It take way too long to try to walk around. Let's just go to here. Let's grab these transports. We'll have this army get, like, hopped across this couple sea tiles over the course of two months. Okay, so that's already at 4.6. Watch the massive 
beautiful five monthly loot get taken away. Devastate. Say goodbye to your prosperity. Start of the war, he was losing... Oh, he's already at zero. Well, damn. <laughs> Let's just say he's never, ever going to get it again. But... Oh, wow. Goodness. Uh, okay. Crap, I did it again. Don't... No, stop. Jimmy. Damn it, Jimmy. Don't let me do development. The printing press is about to spawn. We need to... We should be culture banking. Crap. That's 200 points. Should we squirrel? Nah. We probably have enough banked already. We'll, we'll spawn it in no time. It won't be hard. Okay, we only need another one loot taken here. Okay, the next target. That one's already max devastation. We'll take Nunning. Does he just like not have a navy? Where's his navy? Take capital, Yangzu. Oh, right, I forgot to scorch. I mean, if we're going to do this, we should do it right, right? Yeah, there's still one more loot to be had here. Oh, what a waste of time. I can't believe we've done so poorly with this. Okay, uh, we should be seeing our first Clinical Nation very soon. That'll be one, two, three, four, five. It's not a very good colonial nation. Who are these people? Get rid of them. War taxes! Ming is like, uncool, bro. Yeah. Alright, uh, again, target was here. Can we get there in this month? No. So we'll stop off in the next province adjacent, just, just for the sake of burning stuff down, you know. Scorch. Okay, loot's gone there. We've already scorched it. Move on. This one has been not scorched. Scorch it. That was not one of the targets, though, was it? Whoops. Whatever. We burned it down anyway. We're already here, so we might as well finish the siege. Whoops. Never mind. That army's leaving now. Lose stab or don't. Ah, positive three stab is worth too much, I think. The chance for rigorous researchers, the harmonization bonus. Um... Yuck. Should we roll one more farewell general before we, we lose our high tradition? And lose our, our land leader shock? We could even roll two because we're ahead of time on tech. Then again, we need to buy the institution. Let's just roll one. Who shall lead? I need serious war crime leader, man. Ooh, I like your name for this Volkronos. Volkronos. Because it makes me think of volcanoes, which is like fire, which is like burning Ming. You are awful. What is this? I don't even. 8 to 18, and you have five, you rolled an 8. Dude. What? What? What happened? We need a do-over, but you don't get to be it. <laughs> we need someone better than that, damn it. Felicity. What does the word felicity mean? I feel like I should know that, but I don't. Okay, I mean, the pips are in the right place. It's still not a great roll. Five and, and five and three is only, what, 13 out of a maximum of 18, but at least we're not wasting any pips on fire. We've got them where we need them, so that's pretty good. But seriously, Volcronos, what the hell, man? Felicity means bliss? Well, it does bring me bliss to burn Ming. 
All right, so if he's going to actually try to respond to us, despite the fact that he's on low mandate, we're going to take him kind of serious. He is now officially taking 50% increased fire and shock damage. He has minus 50% goods produced. No available mercs whatsoever. 50% reduced max manpower and five national unrest. He still has no actual unrest in any of his land, obviously. Because he's the defender in a war, that helps out a lot. Um, and because we're playing on very hard, the max manpower effect, it really just offsets the AI very hard bonus. So he still recovers 1,400 manpower per month to our 1,000 roughly. We have him beat by 50 ducats a month in income. We have an extra 0.5 morale. He has us beaten on discipline. A better tradition, better professionalism. I think we switch over to a combat-oriented guy like, say, you. To help offset that disciplined advantage, just in case. Better to be safe than sorry, right? Okay, we're gonna get this one looted fully. Let's burn it. Actually, we didn't need to burn Nunning, did we? We need to barrage it. And occupy it. Actually, again, I'm, I'm just making mistakes. We don't even care. He's already at zero stuff. Like, it doesn't matter. Still, ruining his land is just fun. So I guess we'll keep doing it. There is our colonial nation. It is not called Cascadia. It is called... I don't know. Just off the top of my head, New Korea Stan. But that's wrong. What do you guys want to call it? Oh, <laughs> fuck. I can't believe you've done this. Hey, Way the Great, thank you for your donation, man. Did you know the body can only take 2 DL of water other beverages for 30 minutes? Remember to stay hydrated. Best Korea? Frozen turtles? It is, it is Alaska. Frozen is, is a good adjective for this place. Sure, why not? Frozen turtle land? Why not? Frozen turtle land. And they need a special adjective, because we're fun. We will embargo rivals, customize adjective. The freezing? Or just frozen? We could just use frozen. The frozen attack, the frozen army, frozen war, frozen peasants. Frosty? Sure. That could work. Chili? What about, like, hypothermic? Ooh, I like frigid. The frigid war of... Yeah, that's good. Frigid. Frigid. We'll stay over the leader limit, because we know that we're going to lose somebody at some point soon. I guess we'll improve relations with Turtle Land. And they have full expansion, full plutocratic, four economic... With full expansion, we know they have two colonists then, so let's give them some cash to start colonizing right away. We'll give them, like, ten ducats to start, just to ensure that they, they start colonizing twice. And also, we want to start another colony as well. Uh, they'll have a hard time filling in islands, so let's see if I can find a, an island in one of their, in their colonial region. Wow, it's actually a pretty big region. Is Hawaii part of it? Still haven't discovered Hawaii. I'll right, just fill this one in. Let's get rid of the Kyushians? Kyush Who's, where's Kyushian? Kyushian's like these people, right? Yeah. Gross. Go away. Why the hell is it an animist? I have no idea. Okay, that one has all of its loot taken. That one needs one more tick. We burned it. There's really only one more primary target. We've already hit them all. I mean, look at this. Targets are in red. Loot shows if we've killed it yet. These two are taken care of. So those are those two are down. These three are being besieged. And this is being sieged. So we're pretty much done. We just need to get him to surrender, essentially. 
And of course, fully loot the provinces, obviously. Easy war. We could also take a fort for good measure. You guys want to actually fight his army just to, like, see how good he is? If he's any good at all? I don't think he is any good. I think he sucks. I think he's a loser. Can we spawn printing press? Uh, spawn it? As in, like, actually generate it? No. Because we are not in the North German or South German region, and we are not Protestant or Reformed. But we can dev push it, which is, is currently the plan, I think. Except Jimmy keeps on forgetting to... Tell me to not spend my monarch points. He's kind of a slacker. Alright. You wanna go? I'll fight you in real life, Ming. One of our half stacks versus Party Boy. They're taking an extra 50% increase shock and fire damage. This is a pretty... Big ratio, though, so I think we'll still lose this fight, but not without him taking significant casualties. Which is why we will reinforce. Lose prestige, but gain money. Okay. I like money. I hear money's pretty good. It looks like another army's being engaged, but this one has no leader. And it's not a mountain or anything, so I think we'll be okay. I'm gonna give half of this guy's infantry. Just to balance out their front lines a little bit better. Corpse Grinder, you're pretty good at sieges too. And we obviously... we don't need a loot nonning, I think. This is actually a war against Ming proper, and he is... The he's a primary co belligerent or whatever, so we can take a lot of land. Twenty on thirty with them having no leader. Fourteen hundred, seven hundred, forty, seven hundred, thirteen hundred, twelve hundred. Pretty good ratio. Lose ducats to gain loyalty with the burgers. Well, we do plan on doing a dev push, so sure. Another army coming in on the twelfth. Should reinforce this. Hawkeye's pretty quick. That's a 31 stack. Hmm. We have a hard time here. We take the capital. He's already on low enthusiasm. We try to find his Merc stack also and kill it because he can't make more. So Jimmy, if you see the Mercs, let me know. Reinforcements won't be there till March 8th, which is not going to be quickly enough. So let's just collapse the army into a central point, and we'll have to fight for 12 days and then just retreat. Hey guys, does he ever give generals his name? No. Last time I had a general named after me was when, um... I think when I played with Flory Worry. That was nice of him. I'm gonna mothball the combat fleet. Seems unnecessary to have active to me. I don't know what the hell his navy's doing, but it's not dangerous. Actually, never mind. Not mothball the combat fleet, let's just go park it here and murder his fleet so we don't have to deal with it again in the future. Then we'll mothball our fleet. Yeah, that's right, I, I, I thought you might think twice about this, in just, this engagement. Okay, 26 war score is not going to be enough to take everything everything that we want. Um, I mean, if we claim the Mandate of Heaven, then we become the Emperor, and we immediately have, 
I think it sets you to like 60. But because we have two subjects that we don't have those provinces, we'd, we'd probably just end up immediately losing it, right? I think it's a loss to take it. Although these guys might have been subjects long enough, we, we could just integrate them. Yeah. I mean, they've served their purpose. They... We scootered them, and we don't have to use Reconquest. It's just an option. So we could do that. Alternatively, we could just take Clay. There's a mission, I think, right? All provinces in the Lyoning area are owned by us. That's this area. We should probably achieve that mission in this war, right? That gives us... Uh, the entire Korean region gets three Koreas united for 50 years, giving a dev cost discount, which gives us the ability to push for the uh, printing press a little bit easier. I like that. The entire Manchuria region gets Korean Manchuria ultra conversion cost reduction. That actually affects exporting minorities, too. Yeah, I think we should take that in the war. Um... I want to completely dominate the Beijing nodes, so we should take this. You need to get Shenyang occupied? Oh, you're right. Yeah, we don't control it right now. Thanks. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm gonna take a break here, and between episodes, I'm gonna look at chat, and we'll talk at chat, and whatever, and see if we can figure out exactly how I wanna do these deals. Or rather, this deal. And then, uh, yeah, it was kind of a letdown, honestly. <laughs> Makes such a pushover. Cool. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you in the next episode. See you soon.